everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a quick box turtle cage tour for both of my box turtles so stick around okay so first off here let me just there we go so first off here we have sheldon's cage he is a chinese box turtle he was just out a little bit ago eating but he has retreated let's see if we can see him well, I don't know if you guys will be able to see them, but he's back in his cool hide. And this is his cage. It is four foot long, two foot wide, and two foot tall. So over here, we'll start with the cool side. He has his dish that has his um, Kelsey Chew. And then he has his food bowl. He has some cat food and veggies today. I didn't have any greens left, so that's kind of what we got today. And yeah, so he's got his cool side with some plants. In the middle here, so that the water doesn't get too cold or too warm, we have his soaking slash drinking bowl. He gets it muddy daily, um, but it is kind of accessible because he has a bit of a tough time with his shell because he um, has a bit of a shell deformity. He was a rescue. Um, so he has this bendy bridge that he's able to get in and out of the water and he's not able to flip himself and drown. Usually a turtle of his size would need a bigger bowl, but because of his shell deformity, I keep it pretty simple um, just to protect him. And then over here we have his warm hide. It is brick stacked up in a pyramid with some plants on top so he doesn't try to climb on the actual hide. And yeah, let's see if I can get a view. There we go. So that's what it looks like on the inside. He's dug out all the bedding. It was actually pretty like bedding, like full of bedding in there and he dug it all out. But yeah, and then this is his basking spot here. He's got his heat and his UV. He doesn't have a specific basking like place because he would always fall off it and I don't want him to flip himself um, because he has a hard time flipping himself back over. So yeah, this is his cage. On the front we do have some plastic siding because he is at the size where he can try to climb out. These were cages were originally meant to have glass fronts but we chose not to put them on so that's why I made the little siding thing so he's safe. And below Sheldon, we have Scarif. There we go. He is a three-toed box turtle. I'm actually not sure if um, Scarif's a girl or a boy, but the cage kind of is similar, kind of different. And let's go over it. So first up again, we have Scarif's food bowl. He's got the same kind of food today. And this is his cool hide. I did have like a really neat hide going on, but he would always destroy it, and he likes it pretty simple. So I left it like that. He's got a bendy bridge to climb over or under. And he's got a piece of uh, cork bark here in the center. I also did another kind of interesting thing with the front of his cage, and I put turf. Um, I've never tried this with reptiles, but I really like it. It makes it so that like his food doesn't get like bedding in it, which is really nice. And I have rocks here, so he can't move his bowl around. But I really like this, and it also makes it so that when he was walking at the front, he couldn't stack bedding up in order to climb out. So it kind of acts as you know, safety, and also it looks really nice, in my opinion. Um, and then over here, we have his water bowl. You can see he's in here now. And this is actually a desk organizer from the dollar store. It works out very nice. Um, it's deep enough, I actually need to fill his bowl a little bit, but it's deep enough so that he can soak, but it's not deep enough for him to flip himself and drown. He has the same kind of bendy log as Sheldon, so that he can get in and out easily. And it also acts as a little tunnel, which is cool. But let's go. <laughs> let's see. But yeah, he loves that bowl. I'm actually going to get him something a little bit bigger. I'm going to be redoing this cage so that his water bowl's in this corner. And it's going to be kind of like a... I don't know. It's going to be like a huge like water area over here. So he will be getting a bigger water area. And the last like six months, he's really had a growth spurt. And so I do need to replace and make this bigger. But for now, it works nice for him. And then over here, we have his warm side hide. And once again, I had a really nice like area over here for him. Like the plants were all hung up and everything. But he would always just knock them down and make this like nest thing that he can climb under and over. So I have kind of just let him do it. He usually sleeps 
right under here you can see there's like a little indent where he's made a nest and that's where he sleeps this is his basking spot here it's another brick and then he's got his heat and his uv right here um and they're attached by clamps and then taped on for safety purposes but he is not tall enough to where he needs the siding on here yet but when he gets taller we will do that um but yeah he's got a vent in the back for good ventilation and yeah that's kind of scarif's cage to set up box turtles like i said if you have any more questions definitely let me know um definitely comment subscribe like all of the things and i do have my instagram linked in the description if you're curious about what my day-to-day -day life looks like so yeah i hope you guys are doing well and i will see you guys in the future